Hey YouTube, this is Firewizard23, and I'd like to welcome you back to another book review. This is the seventh book in the Alex Ryder series, Snakehead. Uh, spoilers. So Alex crashed back into crashed into the ocean from the from his rocket that he had in Archangel. He winds up in Australia and he gets mixed up in a plan to infiltrate an organization of snakeheads. Basically, they're really professional drug runners and all that stuff. Um, Alex is... Not only does he have to do this, he also meets up with his godfather. Though he didn't realize he actually had one. And the moment I read that, I'm like, you did not just seriously jump the Harry Potter chart. Really, he's gonna have a godfather. Gee, I wonder if he's gonna die in this really mysterious set of circumstances. I wonder if it's gonna turn out that he's a good guy. But anyway, uh, he has to disguise himself as I think it's like an Afghani refugee or something, or an Indian refugee or something like that. They have to like totally dye his skin and stuff. And immediately things go wrong in this mission. Like he's put into like a boxing match. He's has he's get assailed by all these bad guys. Like it goes really bad. And. Alex only took this with the opportunity that he might learn more about his parents, his mom and dad. Mom and dad. But this guy, um, I'm totally blanking on his name right now. What is his name? One second, I'm going to find his name. Ash. His name is Ash. And, um, at least that's his, uh, codename. And he, that's what he goes by. Um, Ash is trying to, okay, he can't say a word because he's English, so he won't, the moment he says a word in these foreign countries, they're gonna know exactly who he is. But, uh, Ash is more trained in the different languages. But, like, Alex gets and ends up going to a boxing match, and ends up, and ends up managing to barely escape with his life. Finding out that the guys he got trained with in the very first book, that one of the guys, Wolf, was actually tracking him and found out, realized who he was. And he meets up with his, his, um, the MI6 again, and they give him a bunch of gadgets. And, and everything keeps going wrong as they do this mission, and finally Alex is like, yeah, I'm gonna have to do this myself. Like, he's, he realizes that he's gonna have to fend for himself. He ends up getting captured by the main bad guy, Major Wu, Major Winston Yu, uh, a member of Scorpio. And Major Yu is just basically really obsessed with Britain and thinks everything Brit British is awesome. And the whole plan of Scorpio in this book is they want to kill, they've been told to kill eight environmental activists. That's all they have to do and make it look accidental. They're all going to appear in Australia at like a big concert rally type thing. Their plan is to steal a, high, a super powered atomic bomb that they're going to put underneath the tectonic plates under Australia and cause a giant tidal wave. To, oh, it's like a little island in Australia. And basically swallow the entire island, killing about 20,000 people. And this wave will also hit Australia, causing massive damage. And Alex is like, you know, you're insane. You know, why would you kill that many people? And to which Winston replies, well, Alex, you must understand. That, you know, why are you, why are you killing all these people? people if you only have to kill eight? And he's like, because it has to look like an accident. No one would possibly believe that we wanted to kill just eight people if 20,000 are dead. You know, no one's going to care. And yeah, I, I kind of have to agree with that. Um, but yeah, she sends Alex off. Um, they're also kind of doing this as a revenge thing against Alex because they're mad about their previous failure during the Scorpio book where they lost uh, Julia Rothman. And so he sends him off to this hospital. And I just have to say this right now. Anthony has like this really, Anthony Horowitz, he has like this real, if you're out there, I, I don't know if this was intentional. There are so many times you get this kid naked. I'm sorry, this, it's really kind of jarring and really, un you put him in these really uncomfortable situations, like where he's gonna have his heart dissected, or he's gonna get his, so cause in this book what he wants, to, what Winston wants to do is basically harvest his entire body in a hospital and basically sell him off to the highest bidder. It's, it's really jarring and I, I don't know, it, it rubs me the wrong way. <laughs> Because, like, in the second book, like, he was in this elevator that, like, in this hotel that was, like, specially rigged, and he got taken down. All his, and he was 14 years old. All his clothes, while he was asleep, all his clothes got taken off, and he was um, photographed and stuff, and all his clothes were put back on, and he was slipped back into place, and he never knew what happened. How many times does this shit happen? Just all these times, like, Alex is, like, 
naked. I just, ew, it just weird, really weird me out. He's never like naked doing things, but it's just really jarring how little clothing you give this kid. Seriously. I get it's a spy novel. I get spies get into really complex situations. It's just really, really jarring to me. It's, it's so uncomfortable reading. Um, it's a good story. It's just, it's, I find it uncomfortable myself. Um, so Alex uh, manages to he like blows up a hospital basically, and he manages to get back in contact with MI6 despite his gadget being compromised. And what he's like, it's all like a tracer watch, and he realizes, and he manages to get another tracer from his shoe that was used in a previous part in the book. And he uses a battery just to get a hold of MI6. They read the bad guys, and he finds Ash. And basically, Alex kind of had put everything together that Ash wasn't working for the good guys. He was working for the bad guys. And the whole thing was just to get Alex. And, and Alex kind of sums the whole thing up by saying, You killed my parents, didn't you? He's like, Yes, because I lost everything. Ah! And like everybody dies. And all the bad guys died. And Alex is victorious once again. And he goes back home. Um, like this book, I, there's only three books left in the series, I'm presuming, and I can't wait for the, the eighth one. I'm hoping there's things that are slightly more comfortable. All right, so, uh, take care and bye-bye for now, everybody. Oh, and don't forget, my new book, M.A.D., is out. Please go buy it on Amazon. Take care and bye-bye for now, everybody.